Qantas grounds a third plane. Let's have a look. Good morning everyone, Florian Heiser here and welcome to another episode of Heiser Says. Today I've got my $1 not sponsored 7-Eleven coffee. You know, don't worry, the Stein will come back later in the day, but we were out this morning. And I thought we would have a look at this article about Qantas grounding their third plane because of cracks found in a 737. Now, before we jump through this article, which I'm sure is concerning to a lot of people, let's jump and have a look at their share price. And, well, it's gone from $6.45 at 11.05 to now $6.49. And this morning, well, it was $6.45. So we'll go five days and have a look. You can see it kind of took a bit of a, a spike yesterday. The most recent high was $6.57. That's still good at one year. There you go. Okay, so it's still trading pretty high in that time frame. Look at our max data. Yeah, okay. So it hasn't really affected the price that much, which is interesting, to be quite honest. I thought the market would react to this, but let's have a look. Qantas has confirmed it has found cracks in three of its Boeing 737s after an audit this week and concerned they will require complex repairs. The announcement comes two days of trading barbs with an aviation union which had called for the airline to ground its entire fleet of 737s. In a statement, the flying kangaroo said, of the 33 of Qantas's 737 aircraft that required inspection, three were found to have a hairline crack in the pickle fork structure. These aircraft have been removed from service for repair. The pickle fork is used to strengthen the connection between the wing and the body of the plane. And now, Qantas is one of the safest airlines in the world. If anyone has watched Rain Man, that's what you know about it. Well, it's probably out of date by now. The airline on Wednesday said it had immediately begun inspections on about half of its Boeing 737 planes after a crack was found on one of them during a scheduled maintenance check. Qantas head of engineering, Chris Snook, said repairs would be complex. The replace, we, sorry, we replaced the pickle forks with new pickle forks, he said. The aeroplane will be on the ground for a month. Boeing have done a repair scheme trial in California. It's taken 11 days to do the pickle fork in and out but it took about a month to do the entire process. So here we go. So here we have an image showing these elements. I mean, that that's not really something you'd expect to be cracking, but you know, ongoing wear, tear and maintenance of these aircraft. When the cracks were first discovered, Australian Licensed Aircraft Engineers Association boss, Stephen Purvinus said any unchecked aircraft should not be flying. Qantas Boeing 737s are used on many domestic routes and selected overseas services to New Zealand, Indonesia and Fiji. Andrew David, the chief executive of Qantas Domestic, described calls to ground its entire fleet of 737s as irresponsible. We would never fly an aircraft that wasn't safe, Mr. David said. Even where these hairline cracks are present, they're not an immediate risk, which is clear from the fact the checks were not required for at least seven months. Unfortunately, there were some irresponsible comments from one engineering union yesterday which completely misrepresented the facts. Now, I'm probably probably agreeing more with the with David here. Sorry, with Andrew David. Uh, because, well, these are hairline cracks and you are going to have wear and tear on these planes. But it will scare people. It will definitely scare people and it could be a significant issue. A significant issue if, you know, people get afraid and they have to ground their whole fleet. You know, those comments were especially disappointing given the fantastic job our engineers have done to inspect these aircraft 
well ahead of schedule. I mean, that's the thing. They've identified these hairline cracks before they became a serious issue. So isn't this the system working? Isn't this them identifying it? I can't believe I'm defending Qantas. Qantas Fleet Safety Captain Debbie Slade said she understood how the word crack could concern passengers. Well, yeah, yes, that's it. it it's all to do with the, the opti optics, the perception, and how we interpret it. I mean, I'll be honest, I never fly Qantas. They're too expensive. I always found the service to be quite um, pompous. And this is before, before they became so political, just so political with their SJW rubbish. She said Boeing had assured Qantas the aircraft was safe to be flown for the next 1,000 cycles, even if there is a crack present in one of the components. Earlier this month, the US Federal Aviation Authority ordered inspections of all Boeing 737NG model aircraft with more than 30,000 flights. Qantas said none of its planes had completed that many flights, but had checked the 33 aircraft with over 22,000 cycles. Boeing said earlier this month, 38 planes worldwide were discovered with pickle for cracks and were grounded for repair. The airline said it would minimize any customer impact from the free, three planes being taken out of service. Repairs are expected to be completed by the end of the year. So, I mean, there you go. I will just jump back here. And since I've started recording this, the share price has gone, you know, well, overall, it's up one point. 0.9%. So the market really hasn't responded to this news. This was out this morning. Hasn't affected it that much. It's only three flights, three planes. But let's jump here and let's read a little bit about engineering and maintenance at Qantas just to get a little bit of an understanding about it. So Qantas's engineering and maintenance experience dates back to when the airline first commenced operations in 1912. Since then, we've gained nearly as many years experience in contract work. The engineering and maintenance branch employs some 3,300 personnel from a total airline staff of about 30,000. From our humble beginnings in the Australian outback, we have succeeded in establishing a reputation as one of the world's most effect efficient airlines. Engineering support. With the experience gained in maintaining our own fleet of over 200 aircraft, we can respond to customer airline requirements with flexibility and an understanding of operational operators concerns and constraints. Oh, this is their plug. <laughs> well, okay, this is good. Good to see. Qantas is at the leading edge of, of technological development, constantly improving our products, processes and systems. Our focus on continuous improvements, world's best practice and striving to become the most cost effective operation in the airline industry benefits operators utilizing Qantas's engineering services cost effective hmm so airline operators seeking quality service at a competitive price should contact Qantas for engineering services I don't know I don't know if I'm happy with this constant referral to price you don't want to compete on price do you that's that's not what you want to ha be known as well may maybe we're starting to see the signs of that develop in some of the airplanes Qantas's engineering support is available at all Australian international and domestic terminals and at some overseas ports Comprehensive engineering services are provided 24 hours per day by some of the most highly experienced and qualified engineers available in civil aviation. Transit check inspections as per individual maintenance requirements can be accomplished effectively and confidently by our highly motivated engineering crews. Our engineers are qualified in a broad range of aircraft including the A380, A330, B747 and B737. Sophisticated ground support equipment and specialist vehicles ensure that your services achieve reliable on-time departures. Qantas technical support is never far away, whether it is at-fault diagnosis and troubleshooting, AOG spare support or pooling arrangements, Qantas engineering line maintenance will provide world-class assistance to avoid or minimize service disruptions to operators experiencing technical difficulties. So, I mean, there's a bit of that. And here we can see their, their capabilities in you know sydney melbourne brisbane la perth uh, darwin so cairns lax singapore i don't know what hnl is and h and you can see the full technical handling of the different uh, airplanes and the engines 
So that's quite interesting to see. So let's see the, what is it, 380 and the Trent 900 engine, Sydney and Melbourne only. While the GP7200, they can full technical handling in Sydney and in Melbourne, the certification on request. And component maintenance, so wheels and brakes, slides, batteries, cargo universal delivery. So they seem to have, well, a high level of service and some experience in it. I mean, Qantas is one of the oldest airlines in the world. You have to remember that. So what do you think, guys? Do you think the union is being a bit drastic in calling for them to ground their entire fleet of 737s? Would you fly Qantas or would you fly an airline that has, would, well, here, here's the thing. Would you fly for an airline that identifies hairline cracks and repairs the fleet by identifying those cracks? Or would you, would you fly with one that hasn't identified the cracks? What do you think? Or would you just not go near Qantas because of their politics? Let me know in the comments, guys. And let me know who you prefer to fly with. I think last time I flew over to Europe, I went with uh, JAL. Food was quite good. I like the Japanese beer. Anyway, guys, like, share, and subscribe. If you enjoy the content and want to help me produce more, I have a Patreon and subscribe star in the link below. And a big welcome to my new patrons. Thank you very much. And guys, take care, and I'll talk to you later.